Well, happy Sunday. We're in the third week of our series, Thieves of Joy. And this one, we're looking at one I think that's pretty relevant for us and current. And we're looking at Thieves of Joy of just, there's a spirit in our atmosphere that wants us to make us feel guilty or shame or layer on all the problems of the world, our news media, our politics, I think even some aspects of education do this to our kids. And so we're praying to guard our hearts from this kind of spirit of this age that would steal our joy. And uh, to start with, we're going to look uh, at a reading from the passage of Nehemiah. We're doing that in the next few days. We're told, the Nehemiah, that is His Excellency, and Ezra the priest, the scribe, and the Levites who were instructing the people said to all the people, Today is holy to the Lord your God. Do not be sad and do not weep. For all the people were weeping as they heard the words of the law. So the story of Nehemiah is an incredible story. If you're in the leadership, you should read the book of Nehemiah. Uh, but this part of the story is after Nehemiah has rebuilt the walls and they read the law or the first five books of the uh, Hebrew uh, Bible or the Old Testament to the people. And as the people hear this, they're saddened. They're saddened because they see how the disobedience of their ancestors had led to all these problems in their lives that they were experiencing now. They, they were saddened because they felt the global problems of the world falling upon them and the, how their city had, had fallen into disrepair. They, they could feel the weight, again, of some of the past sins. They could feel the weight of these global politics coming upon them. And I think in that, it's very similar to our situation. So often we can look at the world and weep, and it's saddened, and it weighs us down. And so Nehemiah is saying to us, I think today, the application for us is, don't take all that on yourself, right? This is the truth, but God is still in control. God is still in charge, and we are, are mistaken when we think we need to take all the problems of the world on ourselves, or all the problems of the past on ourselves. So let's pray for the grace to resist a spirit of an age that, again, I think wants to heap on a whole bunch of stuff for which we are not responsible and which God does not want us to feel responsible. Heavenly Father, we thank you for these words from Nehemiah. And God, we pray that um, we would remember today is the day you have made. Today is holy to you. And we want to rejoice in you and your goodness and not allow the problems of the past or the global problems right now to steal our joy. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen.